Hello, Crown Hill. This is Thomas coming to you, and this is a tutorial video on how uh, to get started with an online video conferencing platform. Uh, we're hoping to start to use this some more as a church. Uh, the longer this goes on, we want to find new ways to connect, and we're hoping to be able to use some online uh, video conferencing. And so this is, is kind of the, the how-to steps of what this will look like. And so uh, you are going to receive an email from me. Uh, it says from Thomas Dunn, and it'll say invitation. Uh, it might say small group. We're not sure what all ways we're going to use this. We might use it for a Bible study or just a group meeting for the church to come together and see each other or have a prayer meeting. Or We don't know for sure, but we just want to be able to, to have this option so we can meet virtually. So when you get the email from me, it says invitation. You want to click on that and open it. Uh, and so then this will look like a uh, regular email, but you'll see kind of the information up here, what it is. Uh, so this is for a small group online meeting. It has the date, uh, the time, et cetera. Now, the important thing that you're going to do for the email is you want to scroll down here uh, to this link. This is the important link. Um, and so once you get this point, click on this link. And if everything is working as it should, um, you should uh, have this screen pop up. Now, for me, I have used this software before. So um, my video in my microphone is already working. If you've never used this before, you might have something pop up in your left corner or the right corner of your screen somewhere that says, um, is it okay for this application to use your microphone and your video camera or your video, your, your, your webcam? Um, and so you'll just want to click allow on that. It might look different on different computers, but they're probably going to ask you for permission. Uh, you see for me, uh, my microphone and my web is already turned on. Uh, you can click this and my webcam will go off. I can click this and I'll mute myself. Um, but you want to get to this kind of interface where you see yourself on the screen and you see the microphone and the, the webcam are both um, clear. Uh, and that's that's the good starting point. So then once that's all set up, you want to come over here and you see a join me um, or join, not join me, join now. Um, and so click on that join now. And once that join now is you click on that, you should pop right into the online meeting. You can see right now it's just me in the meeting. Um, and then there's a couple things you can uh, look at here. So you'll see who else is in the meeting up here again, right here. You can see it's just me. You can see my face. If there are other people uh, on the screen, you'll see more faces. It won't just be one face on your whole screen. Everyone who is uh, on the meeting will pop up there. And down here, you have some controls. So here, this is the mute button. That's an important one if you're in a big, bigger meeting. Um, sometimes this, you want to mute yourself if you're not talking. Uh, that cuts down on ambient noise. If someone's you know walking around in the background or you have a squeaky chair, if you have a meeting of 10 people and there's nine squeaky chairs, there's a lot of background noise. So that's a good thing to know where your mute button is. Um, this is uh, your camera. If you do that, you would turn your camera off. But usually, you want to leave your camera on. Um, if you go to these three little dots over here in the corner, there's some more options here. You can change the layout of your screen. Um, and so if you want to see everyone in a tile way, you can do that. Spotlight will usually highlight whoever is speaking. And, and sidebar is just another way of laying out the screen. So that's not as important. Uh, those are things you can toggle with later. Um, you can also go to full screen mode. So that takes away uh, everything else and you only see what's there. So those are some things that you can work with, uh, but the important thing is getting to this point where you're actually on the meeting, uh, your microphone is turned on and your video is turned on. You can see other people and other people can see you. Um, so we'll keep working with this. If you have any questions, um, give me a call and we can try to walk you through these steps, but hopefully uh, we can start to use this as a church as a way to connect um, during this time.